I am so excited to be here today. In fact, I am very excited that both my boss, the Vice President for Research and Innovation, was out of town, and the Dean of the College of Engineering was also out of town, so it falls to me the honor to be here today. And um, as part of my role at the university, I, um, my job is to promote the research and scholarly activity, and so it is a treat to see so many people here in the room. I must say, though, Costas, I'm a chemist, so I'm used to being in a room full of men, and I'm coming to engineering and I'm seeing a room full of men. So we need to work on this. I do know that your college, um, and so the university has been through a period of tremendous growth and has been very exciting. I came here in 2007. We are at about 14,000 students at the time. We have grown to almost 22,000 students, and that includes the graduate programs. And uh, in the process, we have also increased the number of our faculty a lot. And as you probably know, we are at around 700 um, research active faculty on campus. And we should be going to about 1,000 within the next three or four years. And so there's a lot of activity and a lot of exciting things going on. Some of those are in the College of Engineering, as you have been seeing today. The College of Engineering has been um, forefront with the growth. The student undergraduate enrollment has doubled in the last few years, and I know that your female engineering faculty has almost doubled in the last year. So I will tell you they went from four to seven. So in absolute numbers, it's not um, huge, but it's a doubling, so it's always nice to see that we're moving in the right direction, and I know that the female enrollment at the undergraduate level is also growing. So that's one of the interests I have as a STEM faculty. Anyway, um, as the university grows, obviously we become more and more excellent in some areas, and the College of Engineering has identified some areas of interest, and you all might have heard of the Earthquake Lab that has achieved international recognition. Um, advanced manufacturing is another area of interest, not just to the university, but also has been in the state interest since about 2008. And with advanced manufacturing come advanced manufacturing come autonomous systems and robotics. And in fact, the state has um, now the knowledge fund, and the university has been the recipient of several million dollar grant to start the Nevada Center for Advanced Research and NASIC, the Nevada Autonomous, Advanced Autonomous Systems and Innovation Center with that knowledge fund. As our faculty grows, we bring in new faculty doing really exciting research, and Costas is one of them, and he is the pioneer of this robotics lab that we have been, um, that we're celebrating here today. So I'm really excited that um, this is happening. We want to communicate not just to the university community, but also to the community at large in Reno, in Northern Nevada, in the state of Nevada, and the rest of the country, that we have really exciting stuff going on on campus. And so Manos and Myrtle send their regrets. They cannot be here today. I am here, and I'm saying that this is excellent. I'm delighted that you could come. I'm delighted that so many people showed up, and I'm delighted that we have such interesting um, work going on in the university that our students not only learn the basics of engineering and the sciences, but are also involved in research that is new and is leading to innovation. And uh, that's what we are at the university nowadays. So thank you very much. And without further ado, Costas, your next. <laughs> 